What's up all you Ninja Turtle loving dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and I'm back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, this time courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys, and we're going to be checking out their brand new TMNT Turtles in Time arcade series, Leonardo and Donatello, and these are hitting your local comic book shops, mom and pop shops, specialty stores, things like that, and they are shipping from various online as well, but love the box art for this, very evocative of the old super bizarre, you know, Turtles in Time arcade cabinet art. Like the back, it really gives you a nice photo of each of the figures, Leonardo, Donatello, and then of course Slash and the Foot Soldier we've already looked at before, but I like that they really go to town with the whole video game aspect. NECA's very good in the, uh, just bringing back all that nostalgia. Here is everyone associated with making these figures a reality, so thank you to everyone for that. Really excited to check these guys out, like the sewer surfboards. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. These are the brand new NECA Toys, Turtles in Time Arcade Leonardo and Donatello. Sewer surfing. And of course, here is Leo and Donnie all out of the packaging. And I have to say, right off the bat, the first thing that grabs my eye are the colors. Very much a bright green, bright purplish pink for Donatello, light blue for Leo, and I love all the 8-bit stylings, especially on Donatello. He came out very crisp. A lot of the line work, you know, the angles and things, you can, like on the foot soldier, it was a little drippy here and there, I think is the best word, but I think that Donnie really nailed it. Just overall, he's got some great paint, great accessories, comes with his traditional bow staff, and he just looks nice. The bow will actually separate right in the middle, so it kind of makes it a little bit easier. If you remember the old Playmates toys, it just took forever to kind of slip his hands over that bow. And he comes with extra open hands. And the nice thing about this is that they can be interchanged with Leonardo as well. And of course, Mikey and Raph are coming in wave two. He comes with his awesomely bright colored 80s as all holy heck. Sewer surfboard comes with a stand, which looks really nice. Fits right there in the bottom and it holds it well. Just like the foot soldier, it's very sturdy. You can position it up if you want to go ahead and rock it, and you can position it down if you want to go ahead and rock it this way, and the nice thing about it is it's also going to go side to side. So again, very much incorporating the whole sewer surfing level from SNES and, of course, the arcade. I always preferred the SNES one, just saying. But the colors on this, again, nice little nods to the video game. Sort of has that cell shaded look right there on the sides of each. The yellows are nice. The back, really evocative of the old Playmates. Some of the vehicles just got that kind of uh, nostalgic feeling from that. And of course, with the peg on the board, Donnie will go nicely onto it. You can position him forward and back. You can't go too far forward because the weight of the figure will knock the whole thing over. But if you get him nice and stable, either going flat or up, he's going to look great. And when you put him with the foot soldier, you can just hear the music. You can hear the power-ups, you know, my toes, all that kind of stuff. They really just hit a home run with adding this sewer surfboard to the figure. Of course, we've got the previous arcade SCCC turtles that they've done. But these are just an extra little tidbit. And of course, the boards are actually different from the foot to Donnie, which is nice to see. So a little bit of a vehicle interchange between the two different characters. Leonardo and Donatello do share the same body mold. And if you've had any of these previous figures before, you kind of see and know the articulation by now. Single jointed elbows, double jointed knees, really nice paint overall, especially on Leonardo. Again, I think Donatello kind of takes the cake with him. But of course, Leo comes with his two katanas. He's got weapon storage in the back. Really nice painted face overall comes with an extra pair of hands and as i said with donatello you can swap them out between the various turtles and that's really cool these are almost like raft sigh holding hands which we have seen before leo's got the exact same sewer surfboard to go this one is a blue one as you can see purple for donnie leo blue and a blue foot soldier love i really like the foot soldier design but the turtle ones just evoke the old playmates and I like what they did there and of course lining them up you know you could battle back and forth NECA if you're listening please make like the actual pizza monsters that would be awesome I think extra features here maybe like those little question mark power-ups from the particular level 
something like that. But I think that, in all honesty, if you have a previous Leonardo or Donatello from the NECA toys, this might be, you know, more for, oh, I absolutely love Turtles in Time, much like I do, so you kind of have to get them. But if you have these other previous figures, I can see them kind of being a pass, so to speak. I will definitely recommend Slash and definitely recommend the Foot Soldier. But Leo and Donnie, you know, they come with these sewer surfboards, so it does make them different figures, at least to me. So they are pretty cool, just saying. But they do look nice with the other Ninja Turtle figures that you may or may not have in your collection. It's all right to have only a few. I'm just kind of a madman, and these are ones just from previous years and everything else. But this is a great wave of Turtle figures, and I'm excited to see what characters they'll tackle next. You got a lot of the, bo I would love to see the bosses, you know, more more of that. I think, uh, you know, I have a lot of turtles. I like to see the newer characters. So I'm stoked. I really love Slash, really like the Foot Soldier again. Leo and Donnie, they're great toys. I actually like the sewer surfboards more than anything. I think that those just nail home the video game aspect and they're so much fun to display, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Turtles in Time. And again, thank you to Nega Toys for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. God, I love that, that slash, that's such a great face. I'm gonna leave you guys with that as always. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, if you're at the king's table and you eat all your food and the family says, you know what, you can go next door and hop into the arcade, here's a nice solid $5 bill, have at it, play some Turtles in Time, maybe some Mario Brothers if they got it, and you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, it's just a little inside joke just for me, and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon, adios.